Boris Johnson issued a direct instruction to Vladimir Putin to turn back the tanks saying Russia had fatally underestimated the unity of the West. Speaking in Warsaw, Poland, the Prime Minister vowed to continue to work with Western nations to ramp up sanctions on Moscow and leave Russia's economy in tatters as punishment for its war on Kyiv. Mr. Johnson warned Putin was using barbaric and indiscriminate tactics against innocent civilians and was prepared to bomb tower blocks. To send missiles into tower blocks, to kill children, as we are seeing in increasing numbers. Lashing out at the Kremlin, the Prime Minister praised Ukrainian President Volodymyr Zelensky's leadership and courage saying his country's plight had united the West in tackling Russia. I think he has inspired and mobilized not only his own people, he is inspiring and mobilizing the world in outrage at what is happening in Ukraine, he said. Putin has stubbed his toe and tripped on a giant and immovable fact, which is no matter how many troops and tanks he sends, the Ukrainians' desire to live in a free and independent country is something that holds. And in this desire, the UK will always give them our wholehearted support. In the face of this gathering tragedy, I say to Vladimir Putin and his regime, there is only one way out of this morass, and that is to stop the tanks, to turn back the tanks on their way to Kyiv. Turn them round and take the path to peace. Western allies have imposed crippling sanctions on Moscow over the past week as it punished Putin for his war on Ukraine. The Russian economy has suffered devastating consequences from the strict measures imposed so far. The ruble, Russia's national currency, dropped as much as 40% against the dollar yesterday. Although the currency clawed back a bit of ground this morning, sanctions have also severely hit the stock market, with $250 billion wiped off. The Central Bank of the Russian Federation was forced to hike up interest rates from 9.5% to 20% to try and stabilize the economy amid the sudden collapse. 